We've all been there. You're at a party or a dinner, a hot topic that you've been reading about for months comes up as things start to get heated. One person is clearly talking out there. You feel like your life has led up to this moment. You're about to end this person's career. You crave that satisfying mic drop feeling. But what if there was a way to boost your chances? I've read countless books on human behaviour and implemented my findings into my life. And this short video will explain the one mindset shift you can use next time you're in a similar situation. So my girlfriend used to work at a popular gym. And once when she was at reception, she had a woman in a towel that came up to her and started shouting and screaming, saying that someone had stolen something from her locker. So she said that all of her stuff was stolen, but as it turns out, she had just forgotten which locker she had used. So the staff had to go through and break other customers' locks to see if that locker was hers. And if it wasn't, then they then replace the lock and leave a note to tell the customer to go to reception and get their code and presumably to explain why their locker had been smashed into. They went through about six lockers and each padlock is about £10 each. And every time she would say, no, no, it's definitely this one. And it wasn't. Eventually, after £60 worth of damage, my girlfriend thought I might as well try one of these lockers that are unlocked anyway. And she asked, is this your stuff? So the woman grabbed her stuff and started shouting. It turns out she didn't even have a lock on her locker anyway. So she ran away to the other side of the locker room and started shouting, saying that the staff had ruined her day and that she was going to put in a complaint, even though it was her mistake and her damage that had, had been caused to other people's property. So what's the point of this story? Well, she had two options. The first was to lash out and get embarrassed and emotional and probably never show her face there again. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't if I was her. Or she could have disidentified with her result and laughed it off. She could have said, oh God, aren't I silly? And everybody would have laughed and it would have saved embarrassment. But no, because she was so adamant that she was right, there was no way that she could admit that she was wrong. She had a need to be consistent. And that consistency is deeply ingrained in society. It's the same reason people justify those lavish expenses like designer handbags with, they never go out of fashion as if that justifies the hefty price tag. It's the same reason people get back into toxic relationships and justify it by saying it's true love when they know it's the wrong decision. But now they can't admit to themselves or to others that they've made an awful life-changing decision. Studies have shown that we only spend seven to 10 seconds making a decision and the rest of the time justifying it. So think about this next time you're passionate about some sort of political or moral opinion um, and ask yourself, what made me believe this and could I be wrong? The wisest people in the world aren't the most opinionated. In fact, they're usually the ones that say, it depends. The right or wrong mentality prevents logical thinking. So focus less on saying I'm right and you're wrong and focus more on saying it depends. So going back to that woman in the gym, imagine for a second that she started saying, oh God, I'm so silly. You must think I'm so stupid. Do you think that the staff would reply? Yep, you are. Never come here again. Of course not. They would have said, oh no, don't worry. I do things like that all the time. They probably would have helped her out and apologised, even though they did nothing wrong. That slight shift in her perspective by disidentifying with her argument would have completely shifted the conversation and put her out of fault. In the famous book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie talks about the importance of concession and how just admitting when you are wrong and not getting emotional makes the other person admit when they're wrong too and see your side of the argument. Surely the goal of any discussion should be to help us see and learn from each other's perspectives rather than to win because you never truly win an argument. If you lose, you're a loser. If you win, you're spending your time talking to a loser. So keep this in mind. The more you identify with your argument, the less likely the other person is going to spend their time trying to understand your perspective. And hopefully you'll never be left with egg on your face in public again. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you, ha you took some sort of value from this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. I post weekly videos on building discipline and an unbreakable mindset. I'll see you in the next one.